I'm Shona Penraig. I run a website called childrenwriters.co.uk with my brother and sister Joe and Saina. One thing I've been doing recently was uploading the first three chapters of my first novel, which I finished last week. This is a blurb to my novel. It's called Thirteen. Not long after arriving home from a holiday in Japan, 13-year-old Hannah's life starts to undergo a dramatic change. Her Caucasian dad has begun seeing another woman. Her m Japanese mum is distraught, but they're too hard up to divorce. Returning to school in September, Hannah is met with cold shoulders, which turns to insidious bullying. Friends turn into enemies, and Hannah becomes more and more isolated in the playground. Until one day, a new girl, Lily, arrives at school, a girl she used to know from her previous school, who tempts her with radical options for getting herself noticed. Lily is no ordinary girl. She possesses strange and supernatural powers, and will stop at nothing to help Hannah with her problems. Getting to know Lily better, Hannah discovers Lily has a wound that needs healing and sets out to help reunite Lily's estranged parents. As domestic and home life lurch toward ever greater crisis, Hannah makes a discovery about Lily and herself that offers them both the chance of a new and hopeful beginning. At first I called my novel Broken Home. A few months ago I put some chapters up on Inkpop, which is a Harper's site for kids fiction. One reader described my novel as heart-wrenching and rich with culture and personality. Another reader said that I infused my novel with culture, emotions, feelings, and all the important heart and soul. I've sent copies of my novel to several literary agents in London. It would be nice to have a positive result before Christmas. This is an extract from 13, when Hannah finds her weird and powerful friend joining her school. Hannah followed the girl into the playground and watched her, wondering whether she should go up to the girl and talk to her. She wondered whether she'd been wrong about her. What if she was just a look-alike? But all those images in her head. A small voice told, her to ha told Hannah to go. She called up with the girl and said, Um, excuse me? The girl stopped and turned. She looked at Hannah with fresh scrutiny. Do I know you from somewhere? The girl asked in a haughty voice. I think we used to be friends, Hannah said. We went to the same primary school. You weren't in my class, but... You were in my year. Am I right? Embarrassed, Hannah felt like slapping herself. But then the girl's face lit up. Hannah Terrence? Oh my god, it's you! The girl cried and rushed over and squeezed Hannah tight. She reminded Hannah of a bear, a cuddly but cold bear. I can't believe it's you! I thought about you all the time! Do you remember my name? Lily with double L and I. Lily Bloom. Do you remember? And your dad called you Lils? Yeah! A moment later, a shadow seemed to fall across Lily's smile. Yeah, she said again, but dreamily this time. So we meet again, Hannah said. Did you move here or something? To this school? Yeah, of course. Then why are you wearing the primary school uniform? Hannah saw the bitches coming towards her. If only she had a pistol with her. Lily smiled as if she could read Hannah's mind. Those girls are borrowing you, aren't they? Let me show you something. And she sneaked off towards the girls. No! Lily, what are you doing? Hannah cried after her. Told you she's such a fucking idiot, Chadney was saying, obviously about her. Hannah glared at her. She was going to say something, when suddenly Chadney was pulled up in the air, maybe ten feet up. It was like the strap in her school bag was pulling her up. Everyone gasped as they watched a screaming bitch struggle mid-air. Lily was watching her really intensely. She made a little smile, but kept her eyes fixed on the dangling, on the dangling Chadney. Tish began jumping up to grab Chadney's feet, but Chadney was too high for her. Other people gathered around, amazed at what was happening. Get the teacher! someone cried. Get the police! But then Chadney dropped and landed kind of funny on her ankle. She grazed her hands and knees too, but it didn't all look that serious even though she was crying. If Hannah had been by herself, she would have shrieked with laughter. She saw Lily smiling at her. The crowd of people gathered around to look at the sniffing loser. Lily followed Hannah to her next lesson. Oh my god, Hannah whispered so that no one could hear. That was wicked. That'll keep them away from us. Serves her right, Lily said. I'll hold your bag for you. Really? Oh, thanks. I really need this weight off my shoulders. She realised that she felt so comfortable with Lily. She took Hannah's bag as if it was a feather and slung it on her broad back. I like your necklace, Hannah said. Lily looked down her nose at the t silver, le at silver necklace she was wearing. Oh, thanks. I got it from Turkey a long time ago. My mum comes from there. Oh, cool. Want to see it? Yes, please. Lily took off her necklace and gave it to Hannah. Hannah was never fond of jewellery, but when she looked at this necklace, she really wanted something like that herself. The necklace was silver, with a thin purple line through it. Hanging in the middle of the necklace was a crescent and a letter L from Lily. 
They were both red. It's beautiful, Hannah whispered. She couldn't take her eyes off it. Lily looked uncomfortable. Uh, Hannah? Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. She gave her back the necklace. Lily looked concerned, but then smiled and put the necklace back on. Hannah wondered where you could find another one like that. Were you born here? Hannah asked. I can't remember. Yeah, I was born in central London, but my mum came from Turkey. My mum got married again to her boyfriend and we moved near here. Mum's going to have twins soon. Oh, congratulations, Hannah said. Lily smiled unenthusiastically. Of course she wouldn't be looking forward to step-siblings now her mum and dad had just divorced. That reminded Hannah of her own parents and their new lovers. She shuddered at the thought of step-siblings. What happened to your dad? Lily's smile faded and her face became deathly pale again. Sorry, Hannah said, looking away. I must have upset you. Was he... horrible? No, Lily said sadly. He's the best dad in the world. I hated my mum for divorcing him. Hannah felt a lump in her throat as she imagined her dad packing his bags and Hannah's mum not waving goodbye to him or even looking at him in the eye while Hannah and Marcus cried as they waved goodbye. The two girls were climbing the stairs on their way to their next lesson when Hannah heard a wailing sound. They both stopped and listened. It's the police, Lily said. Should we go down and see? If you're not there yet, go to Children Writers and see what you got up there. Check out our stories which you can download on PDF. If you're a writer, send us your stories. It's a great opportunity for you young writers to have your stories published on a website. Thanks for watching.